Hello everyone, I'm going to have to rush this video a little bit because I have another meeting to go to very, very soon. This is the video for how to make the ellipse. First, I want to put on a slider and change its name to N, and I want to go between 0 and 6. Doesn't much matter, but I do. Click OK. Don't want to see it on the screen, so now I push that and turn it off. So on, off, turn it off. Now I want to put on an OK button, click on the button, click on the screen, and I want the button to be called new. And the GeoGebra script is this, set value n, comma, 5. What that will do, when you click on the button, it will change this number n here on the slider to 5. Let's see if it works. I really don't like you have to do that every time. Yes. So whatever N is, if I click on that button, it will change it to 5. OK, we have that. <clears throat> now I'm going to want to put in two random numbers. So random number 1 equals rand, random between. And I want to go between minus 5 and plus 5. Is. Random number two is also going to be between minus, let's go minus six, and instead of going to five, we'll go to n, because n is the number on this slider. Okay, enter that. Now I'm going to need another slider for a and that can be that's okay and now i need another slider for b and that's okay too but they don't do anything because they're not connected to any points or anything now i need a point a equals and just a comma b so when i move the sliders my point a is going to move depending on the value on the slider. So B is the Y position and A is the X position of the point. Now for um, my point B, I'm going to choose my two um, random numbers here. So it's going to be R1 comma R2. So I've got a point B, but it depends on these two random numbers. But if I change my N, it's going to move B up and down. It won't move it left and right because R1 is left and right. And if I put an N in there as well, <clears throat> now when I make a new N, B can move anywhere I want. Left, right, up, down. Very nearly finished now. Now we're going to need a, a slider C. So put on one more slider. This is the last one. Now C can't go down to minus 5. It can go between 0 and 6. Let's leave that like that. Don't want to see it on the screen, so turn it off. So now all I can see on my screen is my two points. So. Control click and turn off the labels. Now I want to put on an ellipse. So I'm going to call it ELL for ellipse. And we want the two points, A and B, and then the semi major axis, which is just how far it is from the middle to the outside. I'm going to put on C. So that's my point A, that's my point B, and that's my slider C. Enter. And when I <clears throat> recalculate the value of uh, my random numbers, every time I set this to 5, it's going to make a new random number. So although this is 5 anyway, when I click that, it makes it 5 again, kind of. And that makes n change in these two equations here, which means we get two different random numbers every time I click on that button. Okay, 
And the final thing that I need to do is just animate those two. And I could speed up the animation as well if I want to do that. And it very rarely goes into an ellipse. And that's because this number slider C, I'm going to have to change that. And now I don't want it to go all the way up to six. So I want it to stay, uh, go up to say four. And we'll see what difference that makes. Oh, I'm not animating it, that's why. Right, so sometimes it's an ellipse and sometimes it's a hyperbola. Right, now if I wanted to stay an ellipse more, if I just pause them all down there, then I can go there, change the settings. Maybe I will change it back up to six, see what happens. So C, yeah, now it's more an ellipse and less a hyperbola. I think I like that better. Right, now I can take off the D. So right click on the thing, don't want to show the label. And then I can go to color and I can change it any color I want, but just the outside. We're having some problems today putting the things in the middle. Now you can choose the style menu and you can choose something from there. I don't know which is the best, but you can also make the line thickness a little bit less. And let's see what happens with that. That's um, pretty ugly, isn't it? So instead of making it that color, I'm, I think it was better when I just left it black, to be honest with you. Something like that. Well, OK, that was it. Right, now I'm just going to review this. Um, this random number, this slider here is N. And I only needed that because I wanted to be able to change something in there so I'd get a new random number every time I, I clicked on that. I have two points. One depends on a slider which just goes up and then down and then up and then down. And the other one is the random numbers that I get from there. So it's going to jump around. That one will jump around because the random numbers can jump around. But this one is just going to move slowly around. C tells you how uh, how far it is from the center to the outside of it. It's spending a long time on hyperbola. And if I make that number, change the number again, and I go to say from one up to eight, then it'll be an ellipse more often. It's only when the points get far away from each other does it turn into a hyperbola. Okay, um, one more thing you could do with that. You go to settings, style, well, I'm in the wrong place. And you can put in your image, choose from file. I can't say this is definitely better, but we will see what happens. So now I put a, a, a photo enhanced version of a tree inside my inside my shape. And you can I, I, I don't know, that's that's not bad, is it? Anyway, people, that's what you have to do. Um, I'm going to share this link with you and you can you can play around with that and you can also make your own. And I'll see you next time. Everybody.